All right, September 9th up here at Winters. And uh, the house started at 99 degrees when I got here. Turned the AC on for like six hours and it feels like a very beautiful, cool 84 now, which is, it's 12.09 p.m. And I took a little nap earlier because it was so hot. Um, and believe it or not, 84 sounds warm, but it's much cooler <laughs> <laughs> the weather outside. It's got to be, it's got to be 20 degrees. No, at least 15 degrees warmer out here. It's just insane. Uh, so anyway, um, I've been kind of running around cleaning stuff up. I got my buddies coming up here. So I've been tidying things up. And uh, one of the things I wanted to make sure of is there's just no critters, you know, in the house because it's a country house. And uh, it didn't seem like there were until I discovered that there were. So we're going to do a critter removal right now. Um, the first thing you're going to need for this kind of critter removal is a broom like that. Probably take off the uh, uh, that thing, dustpan. Might need that actually as a shield. <laughs> Then we're going to need a garbage can with really smooth uh, edges uh, for temporary storage of our critter until we release it. And then you're going to need, um, don't tell everybody that <laughs> the fajitas that they're going to be eating tomorrow are, uh, are handled with uh, this piece that we're going to use. Um, you also should have a sheet. Lucky for me, I was up working at like midnight and I wasn't just like sleeping away like I was earlier, right there. <laughs> uh, you don't want to use flip-flops for this. That's not the right thing to use. You want to use cowboy boots. Yeah, nice thick leather cowboy boots. And uh, so we're gonna get our brim. Hopefully I could do this with one hand. We, will, we, we shall see. Um, and uh, what is behind sheet number one? We shall soon find out. Here we go. I don't know how I got in here. It's so little, it just went through a little crack, I guess. So where, where are you? Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> you wiggled away. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, really? No. Oh. I Means we have a rattler in the house somewhere. Great. <laughs> I covered him up just a few minutes ago, and where did he go? Where did Mr. Rattler go? I didn't think he was gonna, I was watching the sheet pretty closely. I didn't see him crawl out. Where did Mr. Rattler go? <clears throat> Gotta be in here somewhere. Mr. Rattler. Hmm. Well. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> Living in the country, you know? Uh, this is where I was laying down on the ground earlier next to the AC when it was 99 in here. Well, that's really disconcerting. Having a rattler loose in your house. While well, I went and got the proper tools to, uh, manage the issue all right well hopefully uh i'll live to tell about it i'll let you know if i find him i really should use horror movie uh music here hey mr rattler uh where are you <laughs> um yeah could be anywhere but i know where mr rattler is can anyone see the rattler. Can anyone see the rattler? I can see the rattler from right here. Can anyone else? Anybody? It's getting warmer. It's getting warmer. Oh, you're getting cold. So we play with my kids. Uh, okay, getting warmer. Getting warmer. Getting warmer. Getting hot. Getting really hot. 
cold. Warmer, 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 warmer. Oh, cold. Warmer, 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 warmer. Red hot, red hot, red hot. There he is. <laughs> all right. So lighting, not so good, but that's all right. Should make a pretty good movie. Okay, so if it bites me, dial 911 and send him here. I guess first I got to load the video first and play it and hope you see it. Then dial 911. Well, they say the, the little ones are worse than the, the big ones because the little ones, they have no regulator on their venom, <laughs> and so they give you a full dose. Or the adults want to conserve their venom to use it on the next victim. So anyway, um, let's take a closer look. They really can only strike their length, and so we can get, you know, kind of close here. Take a good look at them. We'll get them in the light, but first I have to grab them. Do a little Steve Irwin style here. So he's being pretty patient. He's not, I mean, I was walking right by him five times before I saw him. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do, people. Party people. All right, here we go. It's the first time we've had a rattler in the house. It's kind of a new thing. Except for the one time I found a rattler outside and I cut his head off and he was still squirming and I threw him on my buddy's chest while he was sleeping. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kurt. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty mean. Kurt didn't have much of a reaction though. Um, when he woke up and found the rattler on his chest. Okay, maybe I'll do this. Film with the left hand and grab the rattler with the other. Let's see if we get him out. First, we got to get him out. We got to grab his head, is what we got to do. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's. If we get him out of there, he's going to be agitated. Last thing you want is an agitated rattler. Maybe I can just grab him by the head right there. He's not going to like that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting problem. Let's see if we get him to come out. You get him to come out? Come on. Come on. There's Mr. Rattler. He's coming out. Oh, we don't want him to go that way. Oh. Well, maybe the lighting's better in there. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. You can't really strike from this position here. Eee! Oh, I had him. Mm. Mm. Oh, 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 there he <laughs> Gotta get him. I think it's not a big rattler. Woo! Woo! Got him! Oh, you hear the rattle? Look, he's trying to rattle. Look at that. Let's see if we get him in the light. There's the light. Good lighting. I can't tell if he actually has a rattler on or not. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Maybe I'll get a little zoom going. Should I get a little zoom? Show off Mr. Rattler a little better? All right, let's try that. Ooh. How'd you like to have that coming up underneath your pillow in the middle of the night? Jeez Louise. Hopefully there are not more. So, anyway, I'm going to put him outside, and we will uh, release him in the morning somewhere. Um, I'm going to figure out how far away. 
want to kill him. It's a beautiful animal. Kill a bunch of rats someday. And I hate rats. I don't really like having rattlers around, but I hate everything about rats. I love rattlers. They're beautiful. Anyway, let's release him tomorrow, huh? And we will uh, let him live another day. Far away from here, though. All right, time for bed. Got a big day tomorrow with my buddies. Okay, here's a little home tip, people. I know we all love flip-flops. They're great, especially when it's hot. But uh, rattle bite, rattlesnake bites, like two-thirds of them are below the ankle. And so if you can wear something really, really rough down there, they'll cover everything up. Then the rattler will hit you, and he'll just bounce off. And hopefully, he's got to be a pretty big bat rattler to get up here. So that makes everything pretty safe. Of course, when you reach your hands out to him, that's, um, you know, <laughs> that's a good chance for them to get you, too. But anyway, just make sure to wear some big boots when you're trying to get your rattler and maybe get some leather gloves, too, if you have them. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Go as far up the arm as possible. And just be real careful. Is supposed to kill these things and never risk putting it in your car and driving down the road in case you flip your car over and you're stuck in your car with a rattlesnake. But I've killed enough of these things, and I feel really bad every time I do, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, uh, do what you're not supposed to do. All right, here we go, buddy. Let's go. Let's go find a new home. All right, so far, so good. I haven't rolled the car over. All right, so far so good. Haven't rolled the car over yet, which means Mr. Snake is still intact. Yep, still there, still there. The most dangerous part of the mission is now over, I think, I hope. And uh, I've always wanted to stop by this section of the creek. This is Pleasant Valley Creek. Look, there's no homes anywhere near here. You know, it's not like he's gonna crawl into someone else's house. At least for a little while. I always wanted to check out the uh, creek over here. There's all kinds of cool rocks. I think this is the perfect spot to let them go. And I see a little pathway going down there. That's where we're going to go. That looks like great snake habitat, don't you think? All right. I found what I think is the best rattlesnake habitat there is. I'll show it to you here. Just dumped them out right there on this big, beautiful rock. I always want to come down here and check out the formations. Really cool formations down here. Huge, 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 huge rock over there. And big, beautiful carved out formations here. This is Pleasant Valley Creek. I guess I already said that. Um, so here's the deal, guys. Um, I'm not going to tell my buddies that I found a rattlesnake in the house last night for which they're sleeping in tonight. Best they don't know. They never watch my channel, so they'll never find out. Unless you tell them, so don't tell them. Also, my wife never watches this channel. So she'll never know unless someone tells her. My kids occasionally watch it. So um, guys, do not tell mom about this uh, rattlesnake I found inside the house. So she will never go to the ranch again. So there, there it is. It's got like one little button on it. Let me get a little close up. There's a little button. And we're very, very far away. So you're gonna love it down here, buddy. You're welcome for not killing you. That was <laughs> a leap of faith. All right. See ya. What's, what's the problem? Ow. Gary ran out of gas. It was very poor pre-planning. <laughs> it's a good thing I have a lot of able-bodied men here. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, we're going to drop you guys off. And then, uh, yeah. And then we'll, we'll go. I'll take that thing back and get gas, and then we'll come back. Don't worry. It'll all work out. Here we go.